Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy at Schools here, back with another video, and today we are going straight into the tips with 5 habits every good Rainbow Six Siege player has. Now, I'm a huge habit guy. I think habits are really what makes people good at what they're good at. Once something, you know, stops becoming something you have to think about and becomes a habit or something you can do just off instinct alone, that is when you really show that you are improving at the game. So by developing these habits and really focusing on making sure you do it, do all of these in your games, they will start to become automatic and that is when you will absolutely see your rank start to skyrocket. So take this journey with me, we're going to go over five habits every good siege player has starting off with number one definitely one you've seen before but definitely one you don't do warm up before you play now there are lots of warm-up videos on youtube and i'm probably going to be coming up with my own soon because i obviously do have my own warm-up routine but just anything you can do hand stretches are great this new shooting range is fantastic to get your recoil dialed in using t hunt for crosshair placement and some aim practice and definitely working in some deathmatch in the new arcade playlist to just work on your overall mechanics and shooting against real live players all of these things are great find what works for you or copy what like bolo does because that's what i did but as long as you have a warm-up, that is going to be making your first couple games so much better because you're already dialed in. <laughs> Habit number two, make a plan for the round. This is something I talked about in a previous video, but think about where you're going to put your operator's utility. If you're on attack, what direction are you going to push from, the, You know, assuming what site they're going to be? And who is going to do what in a round? For example, if you've got a defense strategy with five anchors that's obviously not going to work so figure out if you're going to go off site where you're going to go all these things are examples just basically as long as you think about what could happen in a round before the round happens it's going to make your life so much easier when shit starts to hit the fan because you're not going to have to just immediately react and a lot of the stuff that you think out before the round is going to allow you to have a much more solid and less risky plan once the round gets going Number three, checking cams regularly. This applies to both sides. You'd think it's just defense, and it really is the most helpful on defense, but honestly, this can save your ass on attack too. I always make sure I check cams at the beginning of the round when I'm on defense to see where they spawn and maybe get a leg up on where they want to push the building. Just checking default cams throughout the round is also super, super helpful. And also, when you're on attack, checking flank drones and or rotate drones. Now, especially in ranked, these might not be as common. Obviously, I've said in previous videos, make sure you have flank drones at the very least. Rotate drones are kind of a luxury afforded only to more coordinated stacks and or competitive teams. But just checking these cams regularly, you can get some intel that the other team doesn't know you have. And that is one of the most powerful things in Siege. Getting intel on the other team that they don't know you have can allow you to make some incredible plays and just make smart decisions overall. So definitely make sure you're taking advantage of all the intel that the game affords you and check your cams regularly. Number four, along a similar vein of getting this incredibly crucial intel for your team, watching cams when you're dead. Nothing frustrates me more then throwing a camera that is super super useful whether i'm on defense and i'm throwing a valkyrie camera or i'm just aware of a default camera or on attack especially and i throw a camera specifically for a certain purpose to watch an important area of the map and even when there's two three or even four people dead and there's no one on the cams that is just an awful place to be in so i know it's hard i know you want to scroll on tiktok i know you want to be entertained by watching your teammates play out the rest of the round but if you are really dedicated to ranking up and improving at this game then watching cams when you're dead is an absolute no-brainer and you should start doing it more often and number five and this is something i think almost everybody struggles with at least sometimes and that is keeping a positive attitude now this is many many times more important when you're in solo queue because really there is no one there to help you keep your mental intact it's just you 
and based on what I've seen in my comment section and just in the Siege community in general, there tends to be a lot of negative attitudes towards their team, especially in solo queue, and this is just super, super harmful. If, if you're not willing to, I don't know, keep a positive attitude, stop blaming your team or just calling your randoms bad, and it's going to help, I mean, if you don't do that, it's going to help you immensely because then you get to focus on your own game. You get to keep that positive attitude that's going to help you win rounds and make good plays rather than distracting yourself with stuff that cannot possibly do you any good. So keeping a positive attitude will help you not only rank up and improve, it'll make you more fun to play with, which will allow you to find great people um, to team up with. And finally, it's going to make the game more enjoyable, and at the end of the day, that is what we all want. So again, take one or two of these things into your next ranked session and try to work on them. Think about them, you know, make sure you're warming up, make sure you're planning ahead on the round, checking cams when you're alive and dead, and always keeping a positive attitude on your team. Focus on one or two of those things and try to make it into a habit. And once you do that, you will start to see yourself improve incredibly fast so thank you guys for watching this video i love all the support that you guys have been showing me on all of my videos but especially these tip videos i'm going to keep giving you guys what you want so uh yeah i will see you all in the next video peace oh my god, oh my god. is this tip three?